All right, hey guys, um, another VOD review I'm going to be doing on Widow Sensei. He sent me an updated video after about a week of taking into consideration what I told him in his last VOD review. Let's see if he learns, and let's see if he actually gained any experience from what I told him to do last time. So this is going to be a quick one. I'm going to do it a little bit different. Then I did my last VOD review. I'm just going to do a straight review. I'm just going to watch the entire thing. I'm going to pause here and there depending on if I see something that, that seems out of place. And then um, I'm going to call it out. I'm going to see if I can help you try to understand just a little bit better on what you need to be doing. And other than that, uh, hope you all enjoy, dude. Uh, here's the VOD review. And I've been a lot a bit inactive. Um, I know I've been a bit inactive on uh, YouTube for a while, but... I just don't really have that much of a drive to do it anymore. I mean, once I start, once I start uh, upgrading more on my PC and I fully upgrade it, I'm gonna start a, a Twitch streaming and YouTube streaming. But until that happens, that you get what you get. I just hide this a quick door. Hey, you're immediately getting a damage boost by, by uh, Mercy here. Okay, looking at Sebastian is not the best idea. Yes. Good shot. Took took you a bit took you a bit of hesitation there. Ooh, that was really close. You still got her. That that's that's huge. That's still good. That's that's still huge. That's a really good pick. Now shooting shooting into his shield right here is not the best thing. What you should probably do is be shooting his left side because it's exposed. I'm here. That's not right. There you go. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Look! Look at this shit. Dude. This is great. This is great. This is great. You're taking you're taking your time. You're lining up those headshots. And you're hitting them. This is good. This is good. Let's, let's, let's continue. Let's see. Let's, let's, that's great. Yeah, that, that's huge, dude. Okay, okay. A little aggressive here. A little aggressive here. A little aggressive here. You could be taking the high ground right behind you. It's actually uh, very beneficial for where you're sitting right now. Because you could be looking down on top of them and also be protected from like the diva. That, that was a good pick. Um, but yeah, the high ground right here to, to the left side. Think about that when you go to Havana next time. Very good. Oh, yeah. See, if you're on the high ground there, he would have take time, take time to to be able to look at you, and you actually would have saw him ulting out of that window. That's okay. Yeah, there you go. Remember, try. It. Oh, and then you immediately jump off high ground. Okay. Good shot. Good. Oh wow, Ryan to Winston. No one can hide from us. Nice, you got, got caps. They see nine. Uh, there's a Bastion behind you, by the way. I don't know if you hear it. Good shot. Yeah, y'all could easily kill Bastion here. Yeah, there you go. Easy peasy. He's fully staggered his entire self. Ooh, that was close. Remember, remember, remember. Especially when it comes to like those kind of sh those kind of headshots, they're really hard to hit. All you have to do is just like, don't try. Okay, okay. There's a thing. There's a, okay, there's a thing inside of Overwatch that's called uh, in a lot of FPS games. It's called passive aim, right? Okay, let's let's just take a little like a little, little look back, right? Let's take a little, little look back at those two misses that you got on the the diva. O otherwise, your aim, your aim is definitely improved. I, I can definitely tell that you've been that you've been trying your best here. I Overall, your aim is definitely improved. But people. okay, for specific characters like Ana and and Baby Diva, these are the two and Tracer. These are the three biggest examples of this. 
aiming too hard on these characters, especially on controller, makes it actually harder to shoot them. What you want to do is you want to set your crosshair up to where they're going to walk into it and then fire. So you're going to have a reactive shot rather than a, a mechanical shot. So watch. I'm going to show you what you do. Because um, you actually had your crosshair cross over them multiple times, but you're moving your stick too much to where you're just drifting over them, drifting over them, drifting over them, and you're not actually leaving your crosshair where it needs to be. Because remember, you do have aim assist. Aim assist does drag your aim a little bit to where you kind of center yourself out. So watch. So let's watch this. I'm on fire. Let's, let's watch right this. You've been aiming, be aiming here, right? So your crosshair is going to drift over. See, you, you, try, you try too hard there. You're trying, you're trying to preemptively shoot, okay? Drift, boom, drifted. It drifted right over our head. And, and, and it was a reactive shot, but you didn't fire. So. Th 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 those kind of shots need to be more, more reactive uh, than uh, mechanical, right? Just kind of set your crosshair up, and then if they walk in front, bam, just click. Just Because remember, the moment their head reaches that crosshair, you can click the damn button and they're dead. They're fucking deleted. You don't have to be mechanical and you don't have to try aiming directly where their head is. You don't have to try tracking their head. No. You have aim assist for a reason. Aim, use it to your advantage. Aim assist will help you hit those shots a lot more reliably than mechanically. Other, other than that, you're you're hitting amazing shots. Uh, you you definitely did take my advice to, to practice your aim a little bit, slow it down a little bit, just to where you, you you know you're gonna hit those shots. All it is now is just fine tuning. By the way, sitting down here is not not that great of an idea. See, that was another thing that I, I think that you still need to learn on is positioning with Widowmaker. Um, these t these two fuel cylinders right here that are next to you these two giant you know lar large brass objects right in front of you there's a top ground to the top of it and there's also a top ground to the left of it the right side is pretty exposed as you could tell if you when you went when you went right side uh, high ground there's all those people coming from that miniature room uh, into that bridge crossway right you don't want to be sitting on the right high ground but left high ground and this this two brass cylinder high grounds are okay to sit at because you at least have some type of cover to where you can peek out whenever you need to make a shot sitting down here on low ground again like i said in the last time does you nothing low ground low ground widows are you're not going to get much value out of it high ground is a lot better because then you can look down on your enemy rather than having to look up at your enemy because like i said aiming up is a lot harder than aiming downwards Ex except for you know absolute down which is like the hardest aim and then absolute up which is the hardest aim but Flicking shots upwards, easy, right? So what you want to do, what you, what you, what you, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have your sights down on them so you can flick up, shoot. But having to go up to down is a lot harder. Remember that it's a lot harder. Like like you can test this multiple times, going from from upward upward aim to down to to shoot. It's a lot harder because your gun and your and your crosshair cover up the enemy. It's a lot harder to fucking see them, but from down where you can actually see the whole body to up and hit the head is a lot easier because you can actually see the whole body. You can see the entire entire outline of the character. Okay, now is not a good time to get aggressive because your team is mostly dead here. It'd be a good time to just retreat. Uh, grapple hook was probably not the best idea there. You probably could have saved that. Great, that was a good shot. That was a reactive shot. That was a great reactive shot. EMP activated. High ground, remember. There you go. Hey, your Ryan's a little aggressive here, but it's okay. Okay. Ooh, yeah, you could have easily hit that, but I think, I, I, again, that was more of like you were trying way too mechanically to hit that shot, rather than just slightly moving your aim over or passively moving your character just to the right just to hit that shot. You were trying way too mechanically to hit it, but it's alright. Oh, 
think it's time for us to see a Again, like, I, you, you killed her anyway, so you know, that mistake wasn't that big of a deal, because, you know, in the lower ranks, you're not gonna get too punished for it, but you gotta remember, you gotta think bigger, right? You always, always, always think bigger. And the higher ranks, dude, you're gonna get dived a lot by Divas and Winstons, man, because Widow is like one of those characters that she's just incredibly easy to die because she has very little escape. So, you have to learn how to hit those kind of very, very niche shots, just so you can get that kill so that way they can't dive you and kill you. Because again, a much higher level D.Va or much higher level Winston player probably would have killed you there. Overall great shots. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's a little lucky there, but you did get a pick on the Moira, which is pretty huge for your team. I just hope your team actually does something with it. Okay. Yeah, I do have three down. They y'all do have three down on their side, but they're coming back from spawn already. Join me. This would be a good time to just set up. Just like set up on high ground somewhere, so you can see good sight lines on them. Go headshot. If the mercy was damage missing there, you probably actually would have killed him. Yeah, you're, you're, you're about, about to say, you're kind of forgetting that there's a Roadhog and a Reaper to your left side. Don't ever try to take your eyes off of them, especially if the warrior... Okay, look, 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 look. Target choosing as Widowmaker is essential, right? Obviously, going for healers is a great thing. But if you have two other people already looking at you, it's very dangerous to go for those shots. Unless you're in a good spot where they can't hurt you, right? Right now, you're at a pretty relatively decent distance from Roadhog and uh and reaper but if roadhog were to step forward just a little bit he would have been able to hook you there so try not to take too risky of shots like that especially as widowmaker i mean honestly the best shots that come out of a widowmaker are honestly shots where she's kind of ignoring everything that's going on around her and then she's just hitting like like in the middle of their team and just hitting heads but you know right now you're not exactly at that at that stage of aim where you know your aim is so incredibly confident to where you could just dive in to like a, a good small spot of, of the corner of a map where you're kind of in the middle of the team but you're you're behind their shield and you can be able to hit headshots. Right now, you're at a lower level where you're trying to like focus in your aim, which again, like I said, that this entire video has been incredibly good. You are definitely honing in your aiming skills a lot better than just rapidly weird cra crazy flick movements because those out there. You can get to those when you become a lot more a lot more uh, mechanically skilled. Right now, you need to focus a lot more on actually doing damage because you got to remember it's a team game. For, for uh, first and foremost, if you do damage, leave that guy at at very low HP, and somebody else kills him. We're fine because this is low rank, right? But what the higher you get, you want to keep hitting those headshots consistently, and then just c continue killing people. But so far. You're killing it. You just got to remember target picking, target picking, target picking. And then again, high ground. Got to remember high ground. Because remember, there's a high ground right above you. Right here above you. Uh, that you could easily went to. Just to kind of get like a little bit of sight lines. You don't have to stay there for too long. Get a little sight lines. Then try to go over to the right side to the stairs right here beside you. And then maybe try to circle your way around to getting to a different high ground. But right here on their low ground is kind of not where you want to be. Because it's very pinched corners. It's very hard to look. This high ground is not so bad either. It'll, it'll at least keep you safe, so you can kind of move and uh, rotate. I'm on fire. Touch me, and you'll get burned. Very aggressive plays here. Sitting right here is not good. <laughs> I can tell you now. Sitting right here is not good, especially if they're to to push forward. You're lucky it was only just a Moyer pushing forward. Imagine if it was a Roadhog. Nice, good shot. You're tickling them, man, but you gotta hit those headshots. You're tickling You're tickling them. Good target pick, good target pick. He has no shield. Oh, you could have shot right there and it would have killed him. I, I don't, okay. 
I don't know if you knew that or not, but you could have shot right there and it would have killed him. Your your charge was enough to be able to kill him right there. I don't know if you knew that or not, but it, I, I I know from experience of playing Widowmaker that I know like when, what charge percentage does amount of damage, but that was well in enough range to be able to kill uh, Bastion right there, and you would have been able to get out of the kill range of that Reaper after that. Uh, but it's okay. Mistakes are mistakes. See, right now you're kind of lost. You don't really know what to aim at here. You're kind of lost. You're aiming from different person to person. Solo. Interesting. Got the mercy. Yeah, that position right there is not that great. In fact, I think it'd be better if you actually kind of stay towards where your next spawn is going to be. Like when you spawn in, kind of try to stay back, try to stay right there. Because when you're at that range, again, nobody on the enemy team can really hurt you. Bastion could try looking at you, but you have range on him to where you can actually shoot and do damage to him. Because again, that's that that stretch right there, that's not over 80 meter, meters. So you actually could put damage down range onto that Bastion from spawn. So let's hope you let's hope that you do that. Remember, distance is important with Widowmaker. You don't want to try to stay too, you don't want to be too close. Oh, Tracer pick. So you want Tracer. Maybe to counter the Bastion? Tracking's not bad. But, but Tracer, okay. Tracer's a whole new slew of like, um, like worms, right? Because Tracer's actually my main. That's who I main. Um, Tracer, you need to be a lot more consistent with your blinks. Like, like right now, you're just kind of blinking. You're kind of blinking just, just nonchalantly. Like, you don't really need to be blinking. Like, like, look, like, like, you're literally full health. I mean, like, you did get kind of tagged by a little, by the Bastion a little bit. That was just because you weren't paying attention to where the Bastion was dropping. But with Tracer, you want to be a little bit more conservative with your blinks because you got to remember that there is an entire enemy team, and uh, those blinks could save your life. So. With, with Tracer, you need to go for more headshots than body shots. Not hitting, hitting full body shots again is not bad. No, don't get me wrong. Like, like look, look, look right now. You're already like half old basically from just targeting one person. But with Tracer, you always want to make sure you're hitting headshots. And also, whenever you're out of ammo, it's almost always better if they're low HP to blink melee than, than to wait for your reload. Because you got to remember that they, they can get healed. And that 35 extra damage could be what killed them. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually did a COD reload right there, dude. Hold up. Oh, let's watch. Let's watch. I think you just did a COD reload. And got your team killed because of it. Let's watch. Let's see. Let's watch this. Or maybe you just didn't reload after you shot at him. Okay, no, you reloaded. I guess watch. Oh no, you just missed. Uh, your, your crosshair moved. I thought you did a COD reload right there where you like literally like went through half your bullets and then just immediately reloaded. Like you do right here. Watch. Because you're going to spray 40 more. And then you're 16, you just reload. Instead of just firing, uh, firing a little bit more right here, and then and then waiting for the reload next time. But it's alright. It's alright. No mistakes, are mistakes. I thought I thought you did a cod reload right there. Sorry, that was my bad. I actually thought you did a cod reload right there. I wasn't paying attention to your bullet counts. It's a long respawn, man. There we go. <laughs> You didn't really get pulse bomb there, but it's okay. Yeah, I think you, I think you're, I think because you missed a couple of those shots, you kind of did cost your team that fight. But you know, mechanical issues are always gonna be things that you're gonna be fixing, probably mostly last. It's gonna be a bit hard. It's a bit hard to to get better mechanically super quick. 
Initiating match. It usually takes Ready a lot longer. One, shot. one kill. Ready for battle. All right, let's see. Let's see what you do. So, by the way, um, this is actually where the nerf of um, what maker comes into play quite a bit it is right here from this window, looking down onto that right there, onto that point. At this distance, you're doing almost half damage. So you gotta remember that. Your shots are not gonna be that strong. You must like me. Ah, that was another reactive shot you could have got. I will draw them into my oh, yeah. I have found the enemy. Come and face me. We could just teleport on you. I don't know if you heard it or not. Your team clearly has. Good shot. Good execute. There you go. Oh, kill us, Moira. Kill us, Moira. Yeah! Hell yes! Both healers are down on their side. Oh, that overall, really great play right here. Maybe defense is just your strong suit. Oh, okay, see? This, see, this is one of the moments I was talking about. Where reactive aim is a lot better here than mechanical aim, because as you see, she's like moving all crazily, right? If you were to just kept your fucking crosshair still, and then just wait for her to kind of like walk into it, and you just pam shoot, it's so I promise you, it is a hundred times easier. In fact, that's actually how I kill most tracers and masters as Widowmaker, is I just keep my crosshair in the kind of general direction where I think the tracer is gonna tracer is gonna blink. Once they blink, bam, just shoot. Like it, it, it's just. It's a lot easier to be reactive than to be mechanically on uh, smaller uh, smaller people like Diva, uh, Baby Diva, Tracer, and uh, uh, Ana. It's a lot. It's a lot easier. I mean, hell, if, you, if you're able if you're able to do it, I mean, all, all kudos to you. But it's usually pretty difficult. Oh, that was close. You kind of moved your crosshair a little bit too much there. That that was a reactive shot. That was huge. You won the duel. Bam! That was perfect. Dude, you are killing it right now. Yeah, I guess defense is just better for you, right? Still gotta work on that. Still gotta work on that close aim, but you know, it's alright. Aim assist is aim assist. <laughs> screws, us all, uh, screws us all over. Yeah, see? You moved, you're moving your aim too much right there, and you missed a perfect lineup headshot on the Ana. Because you're just moving too much. You missed another shot right there, you didn't even shoot. Remember what I said? Dude, actually, I told you this in the last VOD. Remember, when you have a fully charged shot, 100% shot, and you know for a fact there's people behind that corner, don't ever waste it. Just shoot and then do whatever you're going to do. Because reload, because you just reloaded after you fired uh, your, your your Venom Mine. You actually probably would... actually Would, would you have hit that uh, the Ash? I think you would have, right? Hold up. Let me watch this. I think you would have hit the Ash. If you actually would just let that shot go through. Let's watch. Let's watch. I'm almost 100% certain about that. You actually would have got that sh uh, that just shot. Uh, Ana first, right here with that perfectly lined up headshot. <laughs> you had a perfectly lined shot. Okay, watch, watch. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Cause watch. You fully charge the shot. Let's see. You're looking here. You're looking here. Yeah. Dude, if you would have just shot, like I said, if you feel like you're gonna let go of your aim. If you feel like you're gonna let go of your aim, then shoot your shot. If especially if you just see somebody for like an instant, just shoot real quick. Then do whatever you're gonna do afterwards. Don't waste that fully charged shot. That fully charged shot, dude, because again, that's just precious seconds just wasted. Remember, I told you that last time. I told you that last time. I know that for a fact.
I'm telling you right now, if you watch any pro player, you watch any high level widow player, uh, I mean hell, if you even watch me, dude, every single time I'm I'm camping a corner with Widowmaker and I have a fully charged shot, even if I hit absolutely fucking nothing, dude, my accuracy doesn't matter to me, dude. That fully charged shot could have been a lucky ass headshot from somebody walking around the corner because I know somebody's gonna come around that corner around that time. Same thing as all those pros. Kefri, uh, uh, Carpe, Pine, you, again, watch any one of those people play Widowmaker, and a fully charged shot never goes to waste, you always, always shoot on that corner, especially at head height, you aim head height, shoot that corner, and then do whatever you're gonna do after that, don't waste a fully charged shot, don't, just, just don't do it, I told you that last time, okay, there's somebody behind you, that's a huge shot, yeah, maybe you just didn't see them. Nice res from the, from the Mercy. Bam! Great! That, see? That, okay, that right there, that, that right there gives me, like, hope. Like, a, that exact shot, that exact angle that you just got. Because you knew somebody was coming back from spawn, whether it be a, a healer or a DPS player. Because they didn't, they're not going to have a large amount of health. You knew. I, I, I know you. I, 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 I'm kind of getting into your mind here. I know for a fact that you did that because you knew somebody was coming back from spawn. It, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's why you just did that. And that was perfect. As you saw, you fucking deleted that Ana. That is perfect. That's that's why I have hope in my mind that I know for a fact that you can climb. You just got to aim. You just got to aim. You got to take your time. And you got to make sure you hit, get positioning. Right now, you're positioned perfectly, man. You're moving from window to window to window to window. You're not staying in one window at the same uh, at one time. That's fucking perfect, dude. It's exactly what I told you to do last time on Rialto. Is that you need a circle. It's like it's like it's called the widow fucking hell pit. Whatever you want to call it, right? You need to rotate always. Just rotate, 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 so they just never know where you're at. That right there was perfect. That's a fucking great A plus fucking headshot from Spawn, dude. Awesome, dude. Alright, let's see. Let's see what you do here. You should get the tight gun? Okay, you do. You're trying to you're trying to wait for that shot. You could break shield your fur. You could you could have broke shield there. Usually it, usually the times that you wait uh, to shoot around shield is if you know that they're gonna walk past, but if you see that they're walking in a general direction that kinda doesn't me if they're gonna walk past a shield then just try to break shield it doesn't hurt shooting it a couple of times you don't you don't have to always um, try to shoot around shields sometimes it's just not possible right there okay that was bad that was bad that right there what you just did was bad um, you put your back to the enemy team to look at a Reaper what you could have did is you could have moved backwards just a little bit try to backtrack uh, to where you're on like the the left side could have took the left high ground look down that corridor and then shot him from there rather than keeping your back exposed to the enemy team don't do that you never want your back to the enemy team now the mercy is gonna come out here against a risky res I mean she got it I say you do you could have got that Winston. He was low HP. Yeah. Okay. See, you're trying way too hard to focus the Ash there, but you completely missed a good shot on the Winston that would have literally killed him. Remember, target focusing and target priority is a good thing on Widowmaker, but at the same time, she's a pick character at the end of the day. She's a pick character. You want to get picks. You could have killed that Winston instead of focusing that, uh, that, that on... Uh, sorry, uh... Ash, look at what's his health right now on the top top left of my screen. Look how low that shit is. That fully charged shot would have literally killed him. It didn't matter if if he had if if you hit a headshot or not. That fully charged shot would have just straight killed him. Then afterwards, you could have focused somebody from behind. Maybe that Ana. I don't think focusing the Ash there was probably the best idea because she was nanoed. You would have to hit th was it two fully charged headshots to be able to kill her. That's that's really hard. Uh, you don't want to go for hard shots right now. You want to kind of steer clear of going for um, like high, high risk, high reward type shots. Um, because right now you're in a lower rank. Those right there don't really matter as much because you're not trying to, you're not trying to play make. You're trying to defend.
All right, you gotta remember that. You could you could have killed that Winston. Hopefully somebody does end up killing him. Nope, he gets fully healed. Look at that. Tiger priori priority like that matters. You're a pick hero. You always you want to get picks. Ah. That right there, that right there, you're doing way too much passive aim. That right there, uh, Reaper is one of those characters where he's a little bit easier to hit the head as long as you put the crosshair over him. Right there, you're doing a little bit too much passive aim. Great double shots. Uh, you want to get out of here. You want to get out of here. You head bumped, but it's okay. And you killed him. You're, you're, you're insane. I don't know how the fuck that Reaper did not kill you. He 100% should have killed you. Kill the Mercy, kill the Mercy, kill the Mercy. Don't worry about Winston. Kill the Mercy, yeah. No. You could have went high ground, dude. Oh, nice. Good, good. You, you still end up killing her. You need to go high ground here. You need to set up. Okay, this high ground's not bad, but you kind of gave up the high ground completely by just grappling. <laughs> You just grappled in and landed instead of uh, staying on high ground. I remember, you gotta, gotta gotta maintain high ground. It's a lot easier to hit those shots over those over those shields. Okay, you're going straight mid. Ah! See, you're missing so many headshots because you're... Okay, you're doing good by hitting headshots right so far throughout this. But when it comes to those kind of headshots, you're, you're focusing way too hard and you're missing the shot. Like, you're, like, like, I don't know if that makes any sense, but you're trying too hard to hit a shot that you just miss. Like, like, like multiple times your crosshair just passed over her head, but you're not being reactive enough and you're not shooting. Like, um... Aiming down like this is not bad, but at the same time, it's too slow. And as you see, you're gonna as you, as you see, you're getting punished for it. It's uh, it's a little too slow. Okay, remember how last time I was saying you're being too fast? Now you're being a little bit too slow sometimes. You need to kind of find the middle ground where you're aiming, you're finding the head, and you're shooting. Not you know, not trying to go back to your old aiming ways where you were you were just going zhitink, zhitink, like you're going like nuts like for no reason. Um, but <laughs> uh, try. Try a little bit, uh, try to be just a tad bit faster, just a little bit, just a little bit faster on your shots. Not overly fast like you were last time, but just a little bit faster, okay? Don't try way too hard, uh, way too hard on aiming. Don't try way too hard on focusing. Just focus enough to where you can hit that headshot. Because right now you're being a little bit, you're being a too, you're being too slow and you're overcompensating. For the most part, most of your headshots and shots are, are on point. But right now, you, you the, 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 right now we're at the we're at the part where you kind of need a you need to frame your aim a little bit more so where you can you can hit these shots a little better. That was great. I uh, didn't hit her head, but that was a, that was a good peak shot. Uh, there you go. You got you found it. You found the head. It took you a little bit, but you found it. <laughs> to your right. I don't know if you heard her. You, could, you clearly could see her. I don't know why. Oh, you still got her. Damn. That's crazy. Like, this just shows how much your aim has improved. Like, you're taking your time to hit your headshots, and you're really hitting them. Perfect. That was great. Right now? Okay. Right now, at this point, last time, whenever you showed me the VOD... Um, I don't know if maybe you were showing me a game where you thought that you carried, right? Because you were getting a lot of kills. This game, you're really carrying, right? Because you're getting consistent kills. Consistency is a lot better than quick, right? As you clearly saw in the last game, you were losing pretty damn bad, right? But in this game, you're actually being consistent with your kills. And that's a lot better than, than just be getting quick kills. He actually got the res off! 
the Mad Men. And you have to kill. Now you gotta get out of there. You gotta get out of there and get heals. You gotta get out of there and get heals. You're too low to be, too low to be standing, staying here. Oh, your mercy's come back. Nice. It's great. It's huge. That, that was good, dude. Holy shit, you just fucked on her, man. You literally just fucked on that ash. Oh, one more shot, one more shot, one more shot. She's gonna target you, yeah. 100%. There, you got two people, you have two people ulting you with three ults in combined. That's wild. And you still survived. No See, your escaping skills are... A, 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 these escaping skills are so much better than what you had last time. Last time, whenever you were getting dove, you just kind of like froze. You're like, I don't know what to do, and you just died. But now you're, you're getting out of there, dude. You're actually... You're, you're moving around. You're being fucking sneaky. You're being creepy, bro. You're, you're, you're grappling up. You're, you're fucking running away from them. You're diving. You're ducking. I, I, this is great, man. This is great. This is huge improvement. This is huge improvement over last time. Ah, you could hit that shot. 100% could have. Again, overcompensating like I said last time. You're just overcompensating. Your focus is great, just gotta be a little bit quicker. Just a tad bit. Not too much, just a tad bit. Cause you would be hitting some of these shots uh, that, you, that you aren't. Huge! That was great, dude. Punish the fuck out of her. Like I said, like I said, those absolutely down shots are like the hardest ones to hit. You're literally never gonna hit those half the time. But uh, other than that, that was that was pretty good. You, you did kill the mercy, which does give your team a slight advantage. Hopefully your team can pull through here and do something. Maybe. Everything can be happy. You got Sombra. Interesting pick. Tracer probably would have been better here. I'm out of here. Yeah, I told you. Those absolutely down down shot downward shots are way harder to hit, man. Y'all are contesting this pretty hard. One shot. One I think Tracer probably would be the better pick there than uh, than Sombra. Mainly for the fact that they that their shield is pretty big, so it's pretty hard to hack through them. I mean, you did get the hacks on the Reaper, but hacks on Reaper is are not as important. Oh, you're getting shot at. I see. Ah, nope, overcompensating. That you walked right into it. Nice shots. That was huge. You're overcompensating. Yeah, you're you're just overcompensating. All right, so all right, so I'm I'm, I'm guessing I'm guessing you lose here. All right. Uh, other than the fact that you, uh, other than the fact that you lost, um, it was still really good. Like I see, I see massive improvement. This is way better than last time. Like your aim is still, your aim is definitely getting a lot better because you're you're taking your time and you're hitting those headshots, the ones that really matter. Now, you need to stop overcompensating. You need to you need to take a little less time, <laughs> a little less time to hit those headshots. Just kind of, just kind of think a little bit more rather than, or sorry, try to think a little bit less when you're shooting, right? Because you gotta remember, you do have aim assist, so you know it's a lot easier to hit those headshots. But other than that, my synopsis of of this VOD review 
is definitely positioning. Got to remember to get high ground uh, whenever you're on attack, because that's the part where you probably, which is probably what made you lost, is because your attack is a lot weaker than your defense, as I'm seeing. Your defense is like fucking godly, basically, but your attack is uh, is pretty poor. So you, you just you just need to work on positioning when it comes to attacking. And uh, let's see, I think the next thing was um, definitely. Uh, the overcompensation for sure. Uh, gotta work on that. And then I'm I'm looking real quick. Uh, oh, tar target priority, target priority. Uh, pick character. Remember, she is a pick character. You want to get picks that matter. Don't try to go for the hardest shots in the goddamn game just to get those picks. Sometimes it's worth it to shoot a low HP tank over shooting a really easy headshot target. It's sometimes a lot, lot sometimes it's a lot more beneficial as well because the tanks matter a lot more than DPS, whether you want to believe it or not. Tanks are essential to the game. If their tanks are going down, then they have no way to tank all the damage that's coming at their face, and then they just die. So, whenever you miss that shot on that Winston, or didn't even shoot him actually, you were aiming way right at the ash when you didn't even take that shot for the Winston. You kind of just, uh, you kind of just gave up um, on getting picks basically you're you were trying way too hard to do to duel which i did i think i did tell you that 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 dps tend to duel each other and it's it's uh, usually it usually comes down if the dps win the duels which you were winning most of the time like don't get me wrong you were definitely winning those duels most of the time but don't try to take every single duel especially against a nano ash but other than that you are definitely improving there is massive improvement in your aim and that is huge just try to take those things into consideration that I just said, and uh, just keep up with the practicing. It's working. Keep up with the practicing. Just keep doing it. Look up those uh, workshop codes with the characters that are like you know jumping and flying up in the air. They're just keep practicing hitting those heads while they're in the air. Keep practicing uh, hitting hitting small heads. Keep practicing uh, shooting just a little bit faster. Just uh, just a tad bit, not as fast as you were last time, but just a tad bit quicker. Just a little bit. And other than that, overall, great. Um, I hope you like this VOD review. hope you like uh, the advice that I gave you. And please take it into consideration because I want to see you improve and I want to see you get to higher ranks and I want to see you carry more like you did on defense. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, man. And uh, hope this helps.